Welcome to the Zix TV. I am the Zix, and we're going to be playing Atari 2600 Tutankham on two different Atari Flashback consoles. During my recent review of the Atari Flashback 10, uh, although I only spend a short time playing the game, uh, during the review, I actually played deeper into the game uh, because I didn't realize that my camera had turned off because the battery had uh, the batteries had uh, run out. Um, there are a few differences, a few notable differences between the the uh, the two versions, and that's what I'd like to explore here. In addition to doing. Uh, I don't know, a long play just for fun. So uh, I have, we're going to start with Atari Flashback 9, and I will be abusing the uh, rewind feature because I am too lazy to uh, um, to get good at the game again. <laughs> and practice and practice. Um, during 2017, a couple years ago, um, I was playing Tutankham on the original Atari Flashback Portable, the first one. With It, it was on a uh, SD card and the Tutankham that you can get on an SD card had some minor, very minor graphical issues, nothing game-breaking. Um, I didn't have any problems with it. So I played the game, and I played it a lot, and uh, I have beaten the game legit without cheating, uh, because we didn't have the rewind feature back then, or the save game feature. Um, I I made it through all four mazes, and then I made it through all four mazes twice, and then I made it through all four mazes, and made it to the third maze, the third iteration of the game. So, um, I will be using the uh, the um, flashback uh, rewind, rewind feature here. So let's. Uh, get started. Okay, here we go again. I forgot how to save my game. Um, you push down and select on this version. Okay, so let's let's get started. Okay. Start. coming after me. Now he always goes over there. And if you're too far away, your shot won't hit him. Let's go over and get this ruby. Oh, this is a tough spot. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Save down, yes. Okay. Grab that ring. Oh, 
By the way, credit goes to um, Wilson Oyama at YouTube for that maneuver where you go through there, get the monster to go into that pit there so that he's out of your way. I was watching him play this game, and that's how you deal with this situation. Just a quick note there, uh, that's not my strategy. My strategy was to get killed. <laughs> Alright, is he coming down? Okay, we got him. Okay, let's go through here. Oh, that's gonna be tough. Let's see. Oh. Okay, I wanna. Oh, this is gonna be impossible. There, nailed him. One of these okay, slip past. And we get a chalice. Okay. I'm going to, let's see, push down and select down to save. Down, yes. Uh, just in case I accidentally edit, exit out of the game, um, it is possible to accidentally exit out of the game, which you lose your entire game. Um, I'll put a link in the description of this video to that video where I uh, explore how that works. So let's grab this ring. Snake, okay. Okay, get past there. So far they've been generous, snakes. Grab this diamond. Okay, this is a tricky spot. Now he's gonna hang out up there until I there is a secret generator there that, that they will come out of. And this is impossible. Uh, that, that's not right. Nope. Good thing that they get stuck in the generator. Otherwise they come up and eat me. Come on. Spawn at the other one. Spawn at the other one. I'm running out of time. Hmm. Save my game, push down, and then we push down to save, and down, yes. Oh, 
Oh. Okay. Go to the other side. Yeah, go there. Okay. Use a flash bomb. Grab that. Ow! thing to do. Ah! Whoa. All right. I gotta save my game. can't get me mm, down to save down yes down yes down yes vultures huh let's go back up he's gonna go that way is blocking the way. Chalice. Snakes are slow. Scorpions are faster. And vultures are very fast. with the saving process. You know, I was watching Wilson Oyama play that. And he did that. And I was like, whoa. I got to incorporate that in my game. Okay. Now he's at quite a distance and I killed him, but sometimes the others, it, it, not, now aren't in, oh, he didn't come after me. Okay, let him stay there. Wait for him to up here.
save. And down, yes. Down, yes. Down, yes. Okay. Let's grab this ring. Trident. Snakes are slow. I can get away from them. It spawned two of them? Oh, good. Oh, I'm right too far away. Oh! the angry video game. Whoever, de whoever designed this level is a blankety blank blank blank. Uh, come on, show up at the other side. A snake at the other side would be great. I don't know what those pink things are. Butterflies? Moths? Moths. Dark, dank caverns. Moths. Show up at the other side. Ah, it's a moth and he came right over. I'm not going to be able to shoot. I've run out of time. See that bar at the bottom? Well, it's kind of deceptive because when it reaches halfway, which it has, I can't shoot anymore. I'll demonstrate. Yeah, I'm pressing the button and I can't shoot. So I am entirely dependent on my wits here to get that candelabra and escape. Um. snake at the other end would be great. Or one of those guys. A snake at the other end. I'm just going to use one of those. He can't get me. There. And we got one left. Okay. Save my game. I'm going to press down. And down, yes. And down, yes. And down, yes. Okay. Get the thing Get out of here. Ha! I'm stuck. 
get him to come after me? That's worse. showed up. We'll have to skip that treasure. Oh. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Use a flash bomb. Grab that. Right, stay away from him. can't make it up there. Crap. I can't shoot. I've run out of time. No. Okay, let's go. Okay, well, we get the idea. There's a look at uh, Tutankham on the Atari Flashback 9. So let's... Let's exit. And in a moment, I will switch over to the uh, Atari Flashback 10. What's really nice about having the... Uh, Atari Flashback 10 run on a uh, HDMI is I can I can just switch them I don't have to move my TV uh, to uh, change the plugins <laughs> that's really nice okay so we get the idea about Tutankham this is the Tutankham that I played on the Atari Flashback portable with a few graphical issues here and there that really weren't much of a problem. Anyway, that that's this this is the Tutankham that I mastered. Okay, so I will be right back. Here we are with the Atari Flashback 10. And there is Tutankham. Okay. save your game on this one well I don't really need to because there aren't any issues with the uh, rewind function resetting your game okay. start new game First part of the uh, music was kind of messed up there. All right, start. Now notice how he doesn't go over to, to the right like he is. He's kind of patrolling that. And he seems to be faster. Now he's stuck. Okay, got him. Oh. 
Oh. Okay, rewind. Now this one has a bar, a different bar at the bottom of the screen, a white bar. Notice how they're coming after me. What is he doing? Okay, what happened here? My shoot button didn't work. This is much more intense. Thanks to Wilson Oyama. Now this place is problematic too. There we go. Okay. There. All of them do all of them see faster, or is that just me? Now, instead of hanging out in that one area, he comes after me. And that's pretty much the same. Oh, I couldn't make it into the corridor. Okay, rewind. Okay, wait for one to... I could have made it through the... There, I made it. Escape with the chalice. Okay. Snake. Okay. You see how he comes up there? Look at that. Is it just me, or does it... Watch how he comes up. Is it just me, or is it... Faster? I can still do this. I'll take the hit. Okay. Now this place is really messed up. He comes up. that is so messed up. <sighs> this is so messed up. Oh, that is so messed up. Uh, whatever. Forget the th <laughs> Forget... For, for, forget the shells. I mean, the uh, candelabra. <laughs> Okay. 
Get out. go. This is fast. I'll take the hit. Well, maybe I shouldn't take that hit. If I die again, the game will be over. Okay. No, no, no. Is gonna come down. Okay. I should have gone while I could. I should have gone while I could. leave that treasure behind. I'm running out of time. I can't get through there. I can't make it. instead of going to the right. He's coming after me. I think we've seen the changes. They changed the monsters, the monster AI, to make it more, well, except there, to make it harder. They, they, they come after you. They are aggressive. got to be this is much more intense than what I just played and they're gonna start coming up here they don't do that see they don't do that in the other version He doesn't come up and come after me. Oh, this is terrible.
Okay. Well, you get the idea. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, that is a uh, a look at the uh, the differences. Somebody tweaked the AI to uh, make it harder. And uh, just wanted to wanted to show you that. And the um, an improvement is that the the bar at the lower right is my uh, and it's big. It's not just a line in this one, so that's really nice. Um, the bar at the lower right indicates exactly how much time I have before I lose my ability to shoot and um, one of the major rules of this game is you can't shoot up or down which uh, we should have noticed by now that that makes it a lot more challenging if you could just shoot up or down it would uh, be a lot easier um, the original arcade game Tutankhamun was that way you couldn't shoot up or down but you could shoot left or right. Um, I actually think this is an improvement over the arcade game because the whole thing goes up and down, making it a whole lot scarier going up and down. Whereas the arcade game moved left and right, although it did have a lot of moving up and down uh, through the mazes, but the whole thing here goes up and down. So, uh, and it's it's a it's a fun game. So, uh, anyway, those are the differences between the two. And we have a better functioning rewind. I, mean, I could rewind through the whole game. Let's see, can I? I've been talking for quite a while. Well, maybe it just, uh, oh, there's, there's the, the line at the bottom of the screen that indicates how long I have left to shoot. Oh, see? For some reason, my button doesn't always work. There were a couple of times where it, uh, oops. There were a couple of times where I went to shoot and it, and it didn't work, so there's a glitch there. Well, anyway, that is a, uh, that's, that's a look at the differences between the Atari Flashback 9 and the Atari Flashback 10. I prefer the Atari Flashback 9 version. That's the version that I I like because it's much easier than this one. This this one has some pretty impossible situations in it. And this wouldn't be a Zixpid if we didn't play a quick game of Chopper Command. It's one of my favorites. It's a fun game. Uh, it's easy to play and usually it doesn't last very long <laughs> so let's just have some fun here and start all right let's 
get these guys. watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Tutankham is a fun game and I don't care what anyone says. Uh, what's the name of this game? Chopper Command. Chopper Command is a fun game. <laughs> so thank you for having some fun with me here at the Zix TV. Thank you for watching.